In this video, I'm going to take you to, through the higher level of how to get the leads from a lead Facebook ad from Facebook and put over in MailChimp. Okay, I've created this diagram of the flow. I'm not going to get in this video of how to set up Facebook lead ad. There's lots of information on YouTube to do this and from Facebook and whatnot. If you have any questions, you can just leave them in the comments below and I can try to help out. It can be complex when it comes to conversions, but here's our flow. This is a snapshot in the uh, Facebook ad campaign your business manager of how it was set up with all the feeds and how it's um, set up with a subscribe button once you go in to set the lead ad up below it it takes you into a process where you have to set up the lead ad where there's a header image the title and then there's like four screens the next screen is what information you want we chose email and full name you could put phone number whatever other less is more guys is a statistical fact by the way if you want to receive things and get people to sign up this is on Facebook, by the way, and there's a higher conversion proven that if you do lead forms uh, on Facebook versus sending them to your website, uh, you will get more signups. Uh, they don't have to go to a pop-up on your website. It can be a pop-up on uh, Facebook, which is great. Privacy policy, which is very important. This is a URL that leads to your uh, website privacy policy, so you need one. You can find them. There's lots of templates out there to modify. You submit, and then you go to 404. Thanks, you're all set. We chose a download URL. So you can actually download a PDF. That's the giveaway um, that was offered by this client. And uh, you could download the PDF in this. Um, that was the, the giveaway goodie, the incentive piece to get the um, in, uh, person that's interested in this, uh, your product or service. And you'd get this. And then, so this would all be the flow. And then this email and full name, we want to dive into where do you get these when they sign up? Well, this is where you get them. You go into your Facebook business page. So that is your Facebook um, page, not in your personal, but your business page. You go into more here. Under more, there's publishing tools. In the publishing tools area, you will go down into your uh, forms library. This is the lead ad forms. It's on the front end. And boom, here it is. And you will have a um, the, the one that you set up because you'll be you should have saved the lead form in um, the Facebook ad manager. You have to save it as something you got to duplicate if you want to edit it just to let you know it's a little silly, but it is what it is. And it's just clean. And then it'll be named whatever you named your form. And there'll be a certain amount of them. So now the question is, is based on the targeted uh, things. You've got 10 subscribes. We got this in less than um, 12 hours since running the campaign and now you can download them. You click download and it gives you a couple options here. It's uh, There's some lead center which we're not going to get into in this video. It's the uh, newly released tool. But you can download the leads and you can download the 10 leads. So we're going to do that and it allows you to download the lead in the CSV format or an XLS. I like the CSV format, so I click on it and it goes ahead and it downloads. So now you have this, uh, this lead form and what we're going to do is we download it to our computer, but now what I want to do is I want to, I uploaded it, I sent it uh, from my computer and I sent it up into Google Drive. So now I have my lead form here as a CSV, which is, um, you know, th that format's hard to work with. So what I use, I use Google Drive to, s to turn it into a sheet. I double click it, diddly done, and it gives us this, okay? Now, this isn't the nicest sort of way. It's ID, create, add ID. You'll see that this is the ad name that it came from. There's a bunch of information, ad set name. It'll tell you which campaign it was from and a whole bunch of stuff here. But really the meat and potatoes that you're looking for are these two, the email of the person that you requested in the lead ad, right? And the first and last name. You'll usually have to break this first, first name, last name, first name, last name into um, for your MailChimp, right? So you got to take these. So what do we do with these? Well, what I do is I grab all this stuff and I go copy and you do this every, every day or two when you get your leads from, 
uh, from the Facebook lead. You see them growing because you got 10, right? Remember, just looking back here, you've got 10 leads. Um, when you get new ones, it'll it'll say you've got new leads. So like as this goes day to day, week to week, it'll increase and you just download the new leads, and which is great. So now that you've got those, what do you do with what do you do with these? Well, you set up another Okay, so what do you do with these? So once you get um, those uh, copied, you build a sheet like this. And this is what we do. And we create a legend, a basic legend that um, clients can modify as needed. And you take those leads and you paste them here, right? And um, we like to format stuff and make legend what's going on. And we've hidden some of the cells that we don't want to show, right? All this like kind of stuff and we just hide it. And so now you've got this this information, which we just keep a couple. You could hide these also. You unless you if you're running multiple campaigns, it would be great. Subscribe for PDF campaign, you know, like, and you could break these full names into two names and stuff. But essentially, the this stuff here is the is the very important. So um, at this point, you could do it manually. You could go over into your MailChimp if you wanted to one by one. I'm just going to show you the manual. There's lots of other ways to do this, but you can go into your contacts as an example here in, in MailChimp now that you've logged into MailChimp.com. And in here, you've got where you can control your emails. Now, the free version of MailChimp only allows you to have one list. You got to pay to have multiple lists, but the workaround is tags. So if this is a campaign that has to do with the tags of subscribe for PDF July, uh, you know, month two, then you can go here and you can add contacts, add subscriber, right? And you could do these one by one, okay? So you could take um, this individual, okay, with the first name and last name and fill it out if you just want to go manually, okay? And this is the easiest um, way to go about this. To, to grab these things and it's simple dimple. And I and I, I like to keep things consistent. So if this was the um, campaign name, I just copy the campaign name here and I just make a tab, boom, right? And I'd go, you know, enter. And this is the camp, so this person gave me permission to email him, yes, this is already an, in, in the, um, my update the profile if it is but essentially everything stays in line so I go subscribe bam mission accomplished this person was successfully added so when I go over to manage contacts view contacts you can there's one person here that has a tag so when you go to create a campaign and in MailChimp you don't need to send to an email list the only email list that has you know your audience has 126 contacts 109 of these subscribers and one of those are actually this specific campaign you can send it to a tag a tag versus a full, the full list and so that's how you can override the free thing on um, having to pay for a new list you can just send your a MailChimp campaign to the list uh, shortly the week or trigger the the tag to then uh, trigger an email as you add them now I know it's strange but um, I think you can get uh, uh, a certain sort of integration tool you can use other CRMs in here you know the connected the CRM here is uh, this uh, area here is what you have to do so you gotta you gotta connect things your CRM you could ch connect MailChimp but they can't pass it Right, I, I'm not sure, but I think maybe Zapier might be an integration, maybe. But I think it's a CRM directly that you have to attach. So you have to attach your your C, uh, lead CRM here and to um, set it up. So Mailchimp, um, there's there's other one, Lead Bridge, various things that you could send, but you can't send it. You know, the privacy of Facebook and stuff with regards to data has gotten really strict with legal stuff, and they're protecting themselves. So you can't pass Mailchimp stuff from Facebook to Mailchimp. You got to manually do it and take responsibility for that. So that's the basic overview. So that's the one by one step. If you wanted to, you know, um, download this and then what you can do is you could actually, uh, you could create a clean version of this if you wanted to. You could, you could wipe out all of this information, right? Delete, delete, delete. And then what you do with this information is you could file, um, download a, uh, you know, a, an XLS or a CSV like this. Okay, and then what you do, and then this is this is a little bit of a different workaround sort of thing, um, but this is the uh, lead 
10. Let's go make sure that this is, and I'll put July 15. And boom. This is my other workaround that I do sometimes. And what you can do is with this um, sheet here, which is a brand clean one like this, you could go to find this on your computer, this lead at CSV, uh, but and upload, oops. And you could upload all of these. So, so you know how you added the single, you could import contacts and then you could go um, CSV comma delimited and you could go, uh, let's go continue. And then you just go and browse for that file of all of them at once and then just select the, the rows to be name, first name, email, and then forget the rest and then upload all 10 at once instead of the one by one. And that's basically it. So if you have any questions about how to get your you know, um, subscribe form simply into MailChimp, that's the easiest way to manually do it and um, to, to get around. There are automation ones where you can connect a real CRM to just flow out and then you can have triggered responses. So as you get an email, it would trigger a sequence of emails to go out once a week, uh, once a month after, or once three days after, or a week after, then you know, a month after and, and do that sequence from your mailer. Um, it's a little more complex, but um, I just wanted to show you in this video how to do it easy and manually and uh, go from there. Okay, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and remember to subscribe and I'll see you in another video.